Hi! In my last video I have shown you how to build the Linux kernel for an embedded system. And today I will apply this custom Linux build on my Forlinx OK62541 board. This video is a little bit more um, processor specific or system on a module specific, so it will work a little bit different on other boards. But I think it's also worth watching. So let's start. First I will cd into my um, OK6254 Linux SDK and in my last video we have built a custom Linux kernel. So in Arch, ORM64, boot, we have a built Linux image and we already applied all the built Linux kernel modules into the root file system of our Linux SDK which is um, let me clear it and let's rerun this. So here we have our root file system for our Linux build and we have applied everything in here. And the next step now is I want to create the bootable SD card for yeah, running my custom Linux build. And for creating the SD card, Forlinks provided me this create um, minus SD card sh script which will partition an SD card in a way so it's bootable for this device. So I have plugged in an SD card into my PC here. So I will run um, sudo create SD card.sh. And here it says it found one device, which is SDF, which is okay here. And it's 16 gigabyte big. So let's select this device. Um, now we have to decide if we want to um, build two partitions or three partitions. For me, two partitions are okay, so I will type two here. And now it will partitioning everything. Yeah, it should create um, an X3 file system labeled rootfs. This is okay. So now it's partitioning and setting everything up. This will take a little time. And after the script finished, we have the SD card set up for, um, yeah, for being bootable from our Forlinx board. Okay, and would, so the script can do a little bit more. So in theory, it could also flash everything on it, but I won't use it. This I will copy everything manually on it. Okay, so the SD card is already prepared, but now in this Forlinks SDK we have some sample applications and we have some more things. So we have this build.sh script, which will we have already built the kernel and applied it, but this will this can do a little bit more. Search for all. Um, yeah, build all. So we have to prepare uboot. The kernel is already built, we can build a RAM image, we can build some apps, we can build the free RTOS or the RTOS um, applications for the M4 core, the PRU, and we can already um, yeah, make a file system. So the next thing I will do is I will run sudo um, build.sh and I want to build all. So this will prepare everything. So this would try to recompile the Linux kernel, but normally this should be done quite quickly because we have compiled mostly most things already, so this shouldn't take too much time. Now it's installing the drivers once again to a root file system. We could have skipped this, but it's okay. Now it's compiling some extra modules like JHouse or a crypto unit. Now it's building Wayland. Because you can connect the display to this um, board and you can use Wayland as a display server here to um, show Qt applications. Maybe we'll show you this in a later video. Okay. 
Okay, now it is compiling the free auto stuff. And now it's creating a file system. We won't use it, but yeah, let's create this. So normally this board has an EMMC memory on it, and now it's creating the images for this EMMC memories. So this is okay. Let's do this. Okay. So it should be done in a few seconds. Maybe while this is still running, you can see I've already set up um, I've already set up the board here in the Steecar boot mode. So I've turned this dip switch here to on, and this um, yeah enables SD card boot mode. And later we will plug in our SD card in here. A cool thing is here for creating the SD or the SD card image for links um, offered me a separate manual. So maybe I will give you a brief look at this. So here in programming. No, not here in the Linux SDK. I've, I've copied this file in here. So we've already run this create SD card script. We have um, we have created everything, and now we should have two partitions: a boot partition, the root of this partition. So maybe let's check this with um, df minus h. So okay, the partition is not mounted yet. Give me a second. Let's try to mount it. Yeah, now we have mounted it. And if I run it again, yeah, we can see our boot and root of this partition. And I will split this here. Here I will open boot and here I will go into the SDK folder. So we have this image folder where it, um, yeah, it creates all the files. And I have to copy this ti boot bin file, which is yeah, part of uBoot and these two files here, which are also part of uBoot in this boot folder. And the next thing we have to do in this rootfs folder, we have to copy the whole yeah Linux file system. And yeah, how can we do this? So I will use rsync. Therefore, I have to give it the minus r options because we also want to copy folders. And I want to copy the OK62541 Linux file system, rootfs, everything in rootfs, and I want to copy this into media Hannes rootfs. OK. OK, um, I made a mistake um, in my rsync command, so I don't pass the minus r option, I will pass the ax option. So this will um, copy the um, record. It will copy the file system here, so every file here, to this folder and every folder, and we try to keep the file structure as well. And with the X, I'm telling it not to exclude some files. So now let me run this command. Okay, the arson command has complete, and now if we take a look into media, Johannes rootfs, we can see all the files are there. Okay. But I have done one mistake, which I will show you now. So if I go back here into this folder, here Linux source code, this must read if you have uh, this part. So one important thing I have to do is, let me split this view and go to bootfs. Here I have copied the wrong um, files to it. So let me delete them and instead Let's copy this uboot free dot bin and these two files because this is uboot for the one gigabyte option. Okay, so that should be it. Let me try to run this. 
Therefore I will take my SD card and put it into the board. Give me a second. Now let me open up a serial terminal. Okay, and then let's power on the board. Okay, so we're getting the first messages. U-boot boots up. We have the one gigabit device here, which is important too. And hopefully this should boot. Okay, the LEDs are blinking back there. Yes, and here we are. I can log into it. And if I type uname minus a, so or let's do a clear first. You can see, okay, we are running Linux kernel 5.10.87, which is the current Linux kernel. So we have successfully applied our Linux kernel build on this 4Lynx OK6254 board. So I guess that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. In case you want to support my work, you can buy my coffee and buymycoffee.com slash for Linux. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and goodbye.